Hi there, my name is Alana and today we're going to be doing a little Hermes boxing with those behind me. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you'll have seen that I already did a review and a video about my Hermes blush. And that's because I wanted to get that out ASAP, but I am wearing them on my face right now. We're going to do a little highlight of that a little later in the video, but let's start with the not blush item that's behind me. <laughs> so excited. Okay. So this is the bag and it has a little ribbon there. So let's just undo that. So this is what we're gonna be unboxing. We'll get to that in just a moment. This has the receipt inside of it and they also included a little magazine for me, which honestly weighs more than what I bought. So again, this is a bag. We're just gonna pop that bag right back here. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the box. So we're just going to undo the ribbon. There's a little sticker here which tells me what it is. Any guesses? Any guesses? If you're familiar with Hermes, you can probably guess based on the box shape what it is. But, you know, we can talk about color. We can talk about leather. Okay, so this is it. So this is the Hermes Bastia in Cray in an Epsom leather. And I just, I love Cray. It's just this perfect sort of like creamy gray. When I hear Cray, I just think cream and gray put together, but it's just, just really, just, it reminds me almost of like the Damier Azure color from Louis Vuitton. This is in their Epsom leather. So it's treated, it's very thin. It kind of feels stiff. And then when you open it up, there's a little, I believe it's palladium hardware, has a little silver embossing that says Hermes Paris, made in France right there. And then what you typically do is you use this for your change. So you put your change in there, and then when you're fishing for change, you can sort of hold it like this, so that way nothing falls out. You could also use this for cards or like AirPods or like little wires or things like that. But I'm just, I'm just so excited. This is my first Hermes leather piece. So I do have some scarves and I also have uh, some blushes and some lipsticks, but this is my first piece of Hermes leather and I'm so excited to have it. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about why I picked it. And then I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about the blush that I did get in the same purchase. I guess it's a haul. I guess this is like an Hermes haul, but it doesn't really feel it. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about why I chose this. So as somebody who is a aficionado of luxury and designer handbags, it should come as no surprise to you, my dear viewer, that I aspire to one day own a Birkin or a Kelly. So I picked this for two reasons. First, I believe that what I would like first, first, possibly only ever one Hermes bag, but I believe that the first Hermes bag I would like to get whether it's a Birkin or a Kelly, I think I have a preference for a Birkin. I don't have all the answers, okay? But I love the color Cray. And so I would like it, I think, to be Cray. I think a Cray Birkin, in like a 25 or a 30, would be so, so pretty. And so what I wanted to do was kind of get to know the leather a bit, see how I feel about the color, see how bad color transfer is on it. Um, because the responsible side of my brain says that I should look at gold or black and then that way it'll last me forever and I won't have to worry about like any transferring or anything that like would possibly ruin it. But then the impulsive side of me that loves all things beautiful and loves whites and creams and pinks and light colors and things that are easily damaged is like, no, you want this color. So I wanted to sort of test out this leather and see how well I can take care of it and see how it wears. Hermes Bastia in Epsom leather is 295 Canadian dollars. And while that is not a small amount of money, I mean, that's basically the price of a full-size Kate Spade bag. You know, so you can have like a little tiny thing from Hermes or you can have a whole bag from Kate Spade. But I figured if I ruined something that was $300 from Hermes, I would be way less devastated than if I ruined something that was $12,000 from Hermes. Um, I do want to put it out there that I don't see myself getting a Birkin anytime soon. I have a number of financial priorities that come first, 
But the other reason I wanted to get this is I know that uh, to buy a Birkin or a Kelly from a boutique, which is what I intend to do, um, I want that whole experience, you need to build up a purchase history. And so one thing I've been doing to sort of help myself towards that goal, not all at once, is to build up that purchase history. And it's kind of a fine line because I don't want to purchase anything that I don't actually want and I'm not going to enjoy. I do really enjoy small leather goods. I think they're so fun. They're like kind of like candy. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I wanted to purchase things that I can sort of every two or three months pop into the store, reconnect with my sales assistant and spend like 250 bucks in one go. I don't I don't want to be buying like for example you could buy a wallet which is like five thousand dollars. You can buy which I don't want to do. <laughs> you know I might pick up maybe a pair of sandals. I don't know. It depends how they fit on my feet. But what I want to do is just over the course of time build up a sales history. And part of that sales history is you want to be buying across categories. So you want to buy a bit of leather, some makeup, some silk. And so as I build my purchase history I'm trying to be mindful of what are things that are a little bit more reasonably priced, things that I'm gonna enjoy, things that I'm going to use. And this just seemed like the perfect piece for me because it is the leather color long-term that I want. Um, and it's a good way for me to get to know their leather. I would like to get another Bastia, depending how this like piece works for me functionally, in Evercolor leather because that leather also really intrigues me. But what I'd like to do is just build up that purchase history with small things that I'm going to enjoy. So that way when I'm at the point in my life that I can, you know, reasonably purchase a Birkin or a Kelly, um, that I'm ready with the purchase history. So that's kind of the, the two edge reason, I guess, that I wanted this piece. Also, April's my birthday month, so like treat yourself. Now I also picked up two blushes, so let me grab those. So each of the blushes comes in a little beige cardboard compartment, and then it comes in a little orange box like you come to expect from Hermes, and you just slide it out and the blush is in there, except my blush is right here. So I did purchase two blushes. I purchased Rose Ombre, which I'm wearing on this side of my face. And then I also purchased Rose Pouvre, which I'm wearing on this side of my face. So I'm gonna leave um, either up in the cards or down below, or honestly, probably both, and then probably also on the end screen, um, my try on and review of these Hermes blushes. So Rose Ombre, I did buy from my SA at the boutique on Bloor Street. And then Rose Pouvre, I actually got from the Hermes makeup counter at Holt Renfrew. Now I don't believe that purchases at the Hermes makeup counter at Holt Renfrew are going to count towards my purchase history, but that's okay because I purchased Rose Pouvre at, uh, at that boutique and what's really exciting is that Rose Pouvre is otherwise an Asia exclusive shade that the Holt Renfrew team was able to bring to Toronto, to Canada for us to enjoy. So when I had that opportunity, like how could I not, you know? And then what was great is with the purchase of Rose Pouvre, I actually attended an online, sort of like a Zoom, um, a consumer event where we could learn about the blushes. And because I attended that event and bought one, um, the team at Holtz also gave me an Hermes soap. Anyways, that is what I purchased from Hermes. I'm so excited to have my first leather piece. I'm so excited to just play with it, enjoy it, and figure out how I'm gonna use it. It is intended as a coin purse, I don't use a lot of coins, but I'm excited to, you know, I do use some coins and actually coins do come in handy. So I'm excited to try it as a coin purse, but I'm also excited to try it as like an AirPod holder or something for my cards or just, I don't know, just to try it and to get to know it. And for me, I'm just, I'm really excited to get to know that leather color and to get to know that type of leather. So anyways, that is my purchase and that is what I got. I'm very happy about it. I'm gonna leave either here, here, uh, somewhere around here, um, my thoughts on the Hermes blushes, but I am very happy with them, if you can't tell. So thank you so much for watching, and if you love luxury, you love beautiful handbags, beautiful makeup, if you want to better understand luxury, if you want luxury to feel accessible and friendly to you, then subscribe to my channel because we love talking about beautiful hair, beautiful makeup, beautiful places to travel when we're not in a global pandemic. I love beautiful handbags. I just, I really love beautiful things and I love talking about them with you here on YouTube. We also go live sometimes. Those are lots of fun, especially in this pandemic world. 
lots of fun. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.